Hey guys, I'm getting ready to do some shooting here in a little bit. I'm also testing this H1R Nova headlamp from Olight. This thing's really awesome. I just, I was messing around with it at the house and I just literally left it on this hat. It really comes in handy. I've already used it a bunch of times and it's way easier than a handheld flashlight. I've never owned a headlamp before <coughs> and <coughs> I really like this. So I'm going to keep it on today, wear it, test it, wear it while I'm shooting and we'll just see how it is. It has a nice wide spill on it and so far I really like it. The band easily goes over a hat and it'll go uh, small enough to go on a kid's head I'm sure but it's the H1R Nova headlamp from Olight. So we'll see how it works, guys. H4T. All right, guys. I got the custom Glock 19 out here with the Vortex Venom red dot sight. First time shooting this, I bore sighted the laser. So now I'm gonna see if I'm hitting right on paper um, right now, the, the uh, video is going to be showing me shooting the gun, see how it feels for the first time. guys seems to shoot very good the triggers nice it's very smooth uh, shooting the red dots very nice and crisp uh, the, the triggers kind of taken me a little bit to get used to but when I first started shooting I was hitting low and just a hair to the right but in my ladder shots I was real close to the x-ring which is only about this big so I'm gonna reload up and see what I can do All right, guys, I also want to say a big shout out to Lax Ammo. Send me over this very nice, clean brass ammunition uh, to use for this new gun project that I got. And uh, big shout out to Low Key Tactical for the stippling work on the frame. And yeah, check out Lax Ammo, Low Key Tactical. Everything's running good. I'm very happy with that. The red dot seems to be doing good. Uh, this is my first red dot on a handgun. I have shot uh, red dots before on handguns, but uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. 
All right, guys, so here you can see a picture of the target. Now, I don't have this red dot sighted in perfectly yet to where I think it's, you know, perfectly on, but I'm going to show you so far where it's at. And just to show you so you can see how small the target is, I'm going to go for the head, and the head is probably like two golf balls. You can see how small the head is on this target. So this is a, just a, definitely a small size target. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go about seven yards, max like what would normally be considered max self-defense range, and let's see what I can do going for the head. Okay, so as you can see, um, seem to be hitting to the right a little bit. Try to make an adjustment on that and see if I can get any better. Not a bad group though. Really not a bad group. Though. All right, guys, I adjusted the windage on the site, uh, left and right, the way it needed to be. I'm gonna go for the extra ring. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. I don't have the best setup out here, guys, but. I have to make do with what I got at the time. This is not my property, but uh, it's somewhere I have that I can do a little bit of shooting and, you know, sighting things in. So uh, I've adjusted windage, and uh, we'll have to see now. Hopefully that's on, and then we'll see about elevation. guys well <laughs> yeah it's a little bit more to it to sighting these in I guess than I thought uh, I noticed that the dial on this thing is very sensitive and not much movement causes the dot to move uh, further than what you would think it would with these uh, clicks so this except for if I pulled which was my fault this is basically my group I was aiming the X and sometimes right just a little bit above the X so I'm close on windage and close on elevation, but I'm just not exactly where I, I want to be right, guys, right let's now. Let's see what we can get. This time I'm gonna aim for the seven at the top. Let's see what we can get.
Alright guys, that seemed a lot better. And what I did that time was I was shooting with both eyes open, looking through the sight, and I was more focusing. I was more focusing on the target and seeing the dot then on the target. And I'm I'm happy with that. So you can see how small the seven is. Just my fingertip. This is combat accurate all day long. Uh, as far as any further fine tuning, uh, I will wait until I get more rounds with this because it could be me using this red dot. I don't know. I've never used a Vortex red dot before, but I'm happy with that. I mean, that's like the tip of my finger, that group. I might have pulled, and if I, and if you've seen anything, if you've seen any shots hit a different spot, that was my fault. But I was putting the dot on the seven and both eyes open and yeah I'm happy with that all right guys another big shout out to lax ammo I uh, appreciate the ammo and I'll be shooting I have more of it but I'm gonna shoot uh, next time I come out and get some more work on this guy you know you don't just step out here with something like a red dot <laughs> and expect that you're gonna hit bullseyes you know on your first couple magazines you know things sometimes things take a little bit so I'm totally fine with that I think I did good for today and uh, yeah all right guys h4t